Hey everyone, in this video, we'll be deploying our shopping cart application on Firebase. In the previous video, we have successfully like done the code for the cart logic, like add item to cart and remove item from the cart. Okay. And if you have not yet watched that video, then I would simply drop that link in the description box. Okay. I've also added the GitHub URL in the description box. Okay. So don't forget to check it out. Okay. So let's migrate. Uh, let's navigate to the terminal. Okay. Okay. Cool. So now over here, what we'll do we need to follow some steps to deploy our application on Firebase. Okay, so let's have a look. So guys, what you need to do first is to navigate to your shopping cart repository. Okay, so friends, I have uh, navigated to my shopping cart repository. And after this, what you need to do, you simply need to run a command to install Firebase tools. So friends, this is the command npm install Firebase tools hyphen G for globally. Okay, hit enter and it will be installed. Okay, cool. Now after this, the next step is to do the Firebase login. Okay, so quickly Firebase login. Okay. Now it is just asking for your permission, hit enter and press enter. Okay, so I will be allow and we have given, uh, we have logged in successfully. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, cool. So waiting for authentication and we have logged in successfully as and this is our okay email id okay cool uh, now the next step would be so friends the next command is to run this firebase init okay and after this it is going to ask us few questions like how you want to use the firebase okay like it provides several services also so we need to like select anyone so we will be we will go with this hosting and configure files for firebase hosting and optionally set up github action deploy okay so you can like move with up, upward and downward arrow keys and to select it hit space and to continue hit enter okay and over here it is asking that what do you want to use like so we will go with uh, existing project so hit enter once more and now okay cool so now it is saying that i have two firebase projects okay so which one i want to use so i will be using this one shopping cart and it is asking us what do you want to use as your public directory so friends, now what you need to do is, okay, so I will be using this terminal for this. So friends, you simply need to run this command npm run build. Okay. So what it will do, it will simply create your like optimized production build. Okay. That you can deploy on server. So yeah, over here, it has created our build. It has assets, all the static fold files like CSS and JS over here and the assets folder in which we have our images. Okay. So now what we need to do, we need, uh, we simply need to mention that as our public directory. Okay. And hit enter and it is saying configure as a single page application. Okay. So hit enter. Yes. And set up. Or, okay. So I will uh, go with no and overwrite uh, file already exists. No. Okay. Cool. So Firebase initialization complete. Now the last step is to deployed firebase deploy okay so we have got this deploying to shopping cart okay so so several files are made or in our code base as you can see dot firebase and over here also we have this log file we have this uh, firebase rc file also and json file also over here and yes as you can see we have got this uh, message of deploy complete and this is the URL. Okay. So friends, I will simply copy it. So friends, uh, let's press enter. And as you can see, uh, we have got this, uh, like URL. Okay. And we have got this website up and running. Okay. So, uh, what we can do actually friends, uh, this is the URL. Uh, like I, I think it has provided me my uh, previous URL only to which I have previously like, you know, hosted so this is the hosted version as we can see and we have also got https okay as it will also help us in pwa and let's see if it is working smoothly or not okay cool let's try adding item to the cart as you can see the counts get updated every time okay let's add some other item also okay sorry i press wrong button okay okay 
so friends here we are getting the list in our cart this is the summary section and this is the cart section you can also do the modification from here okay uh, okay cool so friends as you can see we are getting our cart section summary section cart section and we also have our checkout section your order is placed successfully so our order is placed successfully and now we have we are we are simply showing this uh, messages and we can go to home page okay so friends one more thing i would like to show you so what you can do you can simply search for firebase on google and then you can create an account on this and after that when you are navigated to this page okay for those who do not know you can go to console okay and from your console like i have two projects shopping cart and uh, firebase push so from here you can like simply click on add project and you can simply write anything that you uh, like want to give any name that you want to give to your project and click on continue okay so like what will happen is it will simply be creating the project for you okay like it is creating your project please wait shopping cart demo so friends uh, i guess uh, this is it okay so these are the basic steps that we need to go through to like deploy our fire uh, like shopping cart application or react application to firebase so friends uh, now i will be ending up uh, the video over here um, if you like the video please like share and subscribe to the channel thank you and i guess our project is also ready let's see so guys uh, this is our dashboard basically for the project okay and these are all the services that firebase provides like authentication database and storage hosting machine learning and these functions lambda function like you know these are similar to lambda functions as in aws so so friends uh, okay so let's meet in next video thank you for watching